going on everybody welcome back to the booster Jaden youtube channel today i'm here with the tm swift and the daily swift but we're here for the tm today today we're going to look at diagnosing the fan controller in tm it's a billion fan controller which is tm square came with the car which is original to this car from japan which is quite cool so that was a part of its old life it hasn't worked since Alex had the turbo kit and the engine and all that jazz put in it. So I'm going to try and work it out today. And if not, then maybe have a diagnosis. If not, then off to an auto, Sparky. And then if not again, then we'll look at getting another one for it and wiring it up that way. Anyways, let's get into that video. Okay, so here is the VFC Pro Dual Digital Fan Controller. Couldn't find much of anything online about it. So it's got the four buttons on the sides here. These are all buttons. And then here is the switch that you supposedly push down to activate it, turn it on or do something. I'm not too sure yet. But I've pulled it off. So the tape here was... Well, it's fallen anyways. We're going to look at remounting all this anyways because I can't see the speedo in that properly. But under here, we can see that there's two cords of wires, which is all good. I've already been underneath there and I've already looked, so I'm not going to pull that apart in here for you today because it's a very, you know, tight gap for me. And then if I do something wrong to it, then it's still in the lockup and I can come back to it at a later date. So... We're going to have to disconnect the battery and get down in there and look at all that stuff. Probably remove the pod filter. Unfortunately, the greedy tank. It's all a little bit annoying, but it's got to be done. I'll try and turn a light on and then get you in the back. So in the back here, you'll see this wire there, that black one. I can't even get my hand past this. See the gap? It's... Um, there's that wire there anyways, you can see it. And then there's another one that comes off a, a plastic one here. Those two are for that, and that big one there is the main ECU one. And then there's another one here where they've done the wiring for the greedy E-Manage ECU. And then, because this one has the TM Square thing and it has it right down on the bottom but you just won't be i'll try and get you in there better later and hopefully we can work out why it's not going these wires supposedly are for that fan controller supposedly as told to me by the previous owner but i actually don't know so we're gonna trace them today and find out if it links in with all that other wiring from the cab there's no wires hooked up to anything in the cab it's just the controller and the switch so it, the problem must be in here somewhere so let's get it apart and diagnose it All right, everyone. So here we can see that it is a TM Square computer. See, by TM Square. So it's definitely a TM Square computer, but now I'm left with this big fat mess. And that was not exactly easy to do any of that. There's this stupid annoying plate that comes with the... I don't quite understand that, but it's exposed all of our wires. So these are the ones that were said. Look at that. Oh. We'll get rid of that. And some bloody nuts, some bloody bolts drop down there. So we've got our two power wires here. Let's have fuses. So we need to see if there's any other wires that really go to it. So... The TM Square computer. Eight. 
actually do wonder if there's a way to take the Ah, there it is. This annoying plate held on by one of these. Annoying. So much stuff to dismantle in this car. It's unbelievable. Alright, so I'm going to actually get you right down on where I am somehow. Alright, sorry everyone, I'm not going to be able to do much better than that. But I need to kind of get in here and diagnose. So we've got... got a shitload of wires everywhere, that's what we've got. So this one goes down to here. I'm actually going to need the phone light, so we're going to come back soon. So I'm back in TM. I don't know by chance if you have any idea what this wire could be. I mean, I'm going to trace it anyways, but it looks to me like it goes down into here, up into here, and then up into here, and then maybe somehow into the TM Square computer, which I don't want to be playing with that. If You know, I don't know for sure. But I'm trying to trace these wires to see where exactly it goes. So look, you can see that these two red wires, the fuses are there. The two wires for that go into relays. So they are, those are power wires for relays. And then all the wires there, but then there's a set of wires over... Where is it? Um, is it these two? These two are yellow and black. I don't know what these are for. They're two of the wires that are disconnected as a part of the um, system, which I don't know about these plugs. I don't see anything that plugs into, like, bullets anywhere. I don't know. Do you have any idea? I mean, this is pretty much what it looks like. All down in there. So here's what I've done. I have narrowed down every single wire from this harness. I've tidied it up. See, bundled it all up together. It's a bit messy down there, but I can't tighten them up too much. We've got our two power wires, which go to two relays. And then we've got a white wire, which is definitely an earth. And then this yellow one, I don't know, we're going to... It says it's a body earth, but I don't know. I just want to try that one earth and see what happens. I think we put it back together. I've lost my tape down and see if you can see it right in there. They fell straight through there, through that gap, my tape. And, yeah, missing. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just attaching the TM Square ECU. Which, it's definitely got a serial number on there. Alright everyone, so now when I turn the ignition on, look what happens.
controller lights up. It's the first time I've ever seen it lit up and it must give a battery reading because when it's running, if we go over here and start it, see the voltage is at 12 and then it should go up to about 14. Where it goes. 13.8, 13.9. There's nothing running, so it should catch up quick. Uh, I mean, we. Oh, there we go. So the alternator is charging, but I couldn't get this to work. I don't know. I mean, look, it's got low, high, and something, and then it. I don't know, I've just been pushing all the bits. It says that fans are active, but the fans are not on. And then if we go over to here, see this button now lights up and if we push it down it turns off. So I'm not too sure how it works. When you push the button it doesn't seem to do anything to the controller. So I'm very... Unsure why it's not working. Look at this. It got all the way up to 81. Oh no. Come on, cool back down. 73 is where I want to see it because that's where I've seen it since the rebuild. Come on, down some more. It's cool this greedy eye touch, eh? See, you can change all your settings on it. There's heaps in there, but we'll go over that on another video. 76, I want to see it at about 74 before I'll turn the engine off. That was, uh, yeah, one quick drive I just went on to test this, but... Yeah, see, I, I don't know how to get this thing going. But all the wires are hooked up to it now. There's no reason why it shouldn't be going. I don't know. I have no idea how to get it to work. But that switch in the corner lights up as well over here. And it is lighting up, but it's flashing that number, 130. The temperature's not at 130. But how do you... See? If I hold this down, what does it let me do? Nothing. Let's hold down high. Oh, look, we can now change this. Now, see, I'm just changing all these numbers on it, and it's not actually... What does this one do? Let's go five, and what's this one? That's a hundred. But it only goes down to ninety. What does it go all the way up to? Yeah, see, I don't get this fan controller at all, so it can't be at 130, that would be... It can't be clicking on at 130 degrees, that'd be boiling. Ridiculous. And 90, it doesn't even get that hot, so set. What does this one do?
Oh, now our indicator is saying zero and our temperature has not gone down. So let's put our air conditioning on to turn the fan on and see if it'll cool it down at all. But yep, I am very uncertain how to get this controller to work. Maybe I'm missing something. There's only four buttons on it. Set mode up and down. So I actually have no idea how to get this controller to... I'm going to have to read the instruction manual, which I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to do that at home tonight. So we may have to revisit the controller. Temperature came down to 77. So we'll let that cool down and then we'll come back you can see on these gauges when they're off, oil pressure doesn't work, but the temps stay up. 77, so I would say that that one there's about 77, that's about 70 degrees oil. ECU communication error, it's because the car's turned off. So yes very unsure about this controller so when Alex had TM former owner the guy up at Swifto's heaven he said that these two wires here so these two were to do with the controller which they were I had to put a new fuse on this one because well no sorry my sponsor put a new fuse on that because the fuse housing like that one had completely broken off at the bottom and then we've got obviously our two that's connected onto our power there now and then we've got our two new ones which I made up today because I don't want to be taking this all apart to get back in there these are both earths they were tested so now I just need to clamp them up and that'll be it really no low coolant but it's not leaking so that's good and there's our fan wire there so yes we still I mean the controller now works which is cool the downside to that is that we don't know how to get that controller going. In fact, you should feel the heat on this hose. Haven't checked the oil cap since I've had the car back. Oh, I can't even get it off. So that's the inside of the engine. No foam. And then there's inside of the cap, which is dirt clean. I'm unsure if there's anything at all. I'm guessing that that's the indicator, because that's the indicator for that one. So see, it's low on coolant, but it could have just sucked it through as well. It's not out of coolant, I know that for a fact. And then, I don't know, you can see a little bit of oil in the line, but not. One thing that almost makes me swear is this oil cap is so hot. Like, it is so much heat under this hood, but according to our gauges it's not overheating or anything so we're not going to worry about it see all of our nice new gaskets down in there new one here new one there 
every single gasket on the whole engine got replaced, which is good. Okay, so there we have it for today. I'm unsure at what's gonna be next, but I will take a picture of the thumbnail right now. So that's the thumbnail for this one. And I did notice the odd few things, like the bumper's not clipped in on the side. There's so much movement in that front bumper, it ain't even funny. And this side's okay, it's all mounted up. Uh, a lot of clips missing on these. Same with that one. Lots of little stuff. Paint on here is pretty gross. Needs to be dealt to. Um, yeah, it's small things really. I need to come into here and I need to cable top that cable tie because it's too long. See our gauges still? What is our temperature? So I just turn the key. Fan controller, see it all still turns on. Which, although I haven't managed to get full control of the fan yet, I'm still learning about this car and all of its features. Which, I'll spend some... I'm guessing it has to be programmed or something because it's been off for so long, but I don't know. I'll do further investigations on that later. But this is a result because it works. If I can go down to here and push retry. Come on, connect. There we go. 17.9. That can't be right. How could it have gone up 5 degrees with the engine off? The actual. The actual. What the... See, the light, it sort of lights up in a green, and it turns off. I don't know which way's down and which way's on. I was guessing that the light would be off, on. But, either that or the switch is an upside down, I don't know. But, I'll work it out. So hopefully I can get it programmed and going soon, and I'll put an update on Instagram in that, in that for the next video. All right, everyone. That's going to do it for today's video on the TM Swift and the fan controller. We've got a result because it's working, which is more than it's ever done since I've owned the car. And I did it myself, which is what's even better about it. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Let me know that I'm... Keeping this happy or not keeping this happy? Instagram, follow me there for updates, more updates than what you'd get on, say, YouTube. Also, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And with that, we'll catch you in the next video.